Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another episode of A Fat Black Racist is Slandering the Red Pill, Leading My Young Brutas Black and White Astray. That's right, we're checking up on Donna Cuck Sharp, Mr. Head of the CME Conference, Cucking Made Easy. Unfortunately, Mr. Cuck Supreme himself has caught in COVID, the Delta variant. You know, the variant that Chronic's more concerned about is the Ligma variant. That's right. But if you guys want to hear more updates on the red pill frauds, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Let's get into it. So I was told from my boys that Donovan Sharp has caught in COVID. Well, unfortunately, worse than that, he's caught in the simp virus. This is Donovan Sharp's community tab. What does Undead Chronic post on his community tab? I shill the war band, I shill funny memes, and I put polls up. What does Donovan Sharp, Mr. I'm a red pill alpha man, what does he do on his community tab? He shills his wife. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the dude that says he's a player is shilling his wife. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, before we get into his COVID status, let's look at his um, cope because this whole post is a bunch of cope. He says, "Let's see how many dudes lie about wanting to smash this time." Donovan Sharp, I will tell you the honest to God's truth. Your wife is about twenty five years too old for me to smash. I am raising my right hand right now. You guys want to know what the warband salute is? Raise your right arm as if you're taking an oath, form a fist, and with your left hand, make the, make the kind of uh, motion you would be for smoking a blunt, right? You know, the thumb of the index finger coming together to get, take a big puff up on the left. I swear, my warband, I have never had sex with a woman in her 30s or older. Never. Ever. In fact, I think the youngest girl I've ever smashed was 24. I was a freshman in college. I felt like I was with some grannies. But you know what? She squatted three times a week. She was a dancer. She did some figure skating. So I let it slide. She got a good butt. Let's look at this, look at this picture, though. Top left picture right here. Do you know why she looks attractive in this picture? Is because the three or four inches of fat on her front side is getting hit by a high intensity light. So as if it doesn't exist. Well, newsflash, Donna Cuck, your girl's body doesn't end right here. It ends about a foot in front of it. And she got her titty, her side boob, or soob out to the rear. So it looks like she's like a, a J cup. No, 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 no. She's 45. She's got freckles and moles everywhere. And as you said yourself, Donovan, she's been, quote, run through, unquote. Pathetic. This picture right here. I'm a fat white chick who has to look all the way up. I have to fully extend my neck to avoid the double chin. Kind of looks like Little Miss Piggy, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. And look, I got big tatas. A fat chick with big tits is like a anorexic dude that weighs 100 pounds, snorting uh, Ritalin, snorting, you know, ADHD meds, playing Call of Duty every day. He's like, I have a six pack. I'm jacked. Fat chicks with boobs are like skinny dudes with abs. It doesn't count. And this last picture down here. You know, I've seen a lot of videos and documentaries about beached whales. This one makes me never want to want to turn on Animal Planet or Nat Geo again. But let's get to his comments here. He says, let's see how many dudes lying about wanting to smash this time. Quote, dude, she's fat, unquote, equals I'd smash. Yeah, this, this whole post is cope. She's too fat for me. That's true. She's too old for me, Donna Cuck. She's too old for Red Pill Man. Now, I know you said yourself you couldn't handle a younger woman because she has better options than you. So you're settling. But the problem is your actual life doesn't line up with the quote unquote red pill values you preach unquote, because you're not high value. Because if we look at your life 
through the same lens you lie about, you LARP about on your live streams, you realize Donovan Sharp's not a high value man. He's not. His wife's 45. She's overweight. And he's not smashing young Puniti. Let's look at Chronic. Do I try to flex on any girls I smash? Kind of. I'll, I'll talk about smashing Asian chicks. I'll talk about smashing Blasian chicks. I'll talk about the white bitches I was with, 18, 19, 20. But I'm not like posting pictures on it saying, this is what you guys are missing out on. That's just cringe. He says, fam, the Photoshop is real equals the only way to explain her physique at her age. No, no, no. I mean, maybe there's Photoshop, but what it really is are good angles. We're not you know, the war band, us Brutas here. We're not old. I'm not a boomer. I'm not 40. I'm not in my 30s. I'm not tricked by the angles, poses, and lighting that women use on social media. I'm not tricked. I'm not. But you know what, Donovan? I'm sure when you're trying to smash her missionary style and you're seeing more ripples in the Arabian Sea, I don't think you're tricked either. But then again, like, you're satisfied getting with a white woman in her 40s who's overweight. That would not satisfy me. I am a high-value man, Donovan Sharp. You are not. You spend your time on YouTube LARPing, flexing, faking like a high value man. I got a white wife. She's bought big old titties. Your wife's 45, bro. I can't imagine. I, 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 I honestly cannot see myself in a single universe calling a woman my wife if I was not the only man she's been with. But that's because I know my seed is valuable. I know I can delay gratification. I don't have to settle for used products. You know, you guys see, you go to, you know, I went to the grocery store today, actually, and I saw a bunch of Greek yogurt on sale. Do you know why it was on sale? The expiration date was within a week. Can you imagine buying Greek yogurt at the grocery store whose expiration date was yesterday, a year ago? Now imagine 20 years ago, Donovan Cuck, if your wife was 20 years younger, if she was 25, she is still too old for me. Imagine that, bro. I guess it just means that we got different standards. I guess it means that, well, to be quite frank, I value myself more than you. But as a scam artist, I don't know what you really value, but let's continue. He says... Dude, she's not a 10. I'm comparing her to IG models. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with that. Um, Donna Cuck. Yeah, she's not a 10. She's like a 10 on a scale of 1,000. What's that? A point one? Yeah, she's a point one. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I agree with that. OMG, she's so old. Equals, she's attractive, but I can't admit it, so I'll just say she's old. No, 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 no. Your wife is not attractive. She's not sexy. She is the equivalent of a, a beefed up old sow being waiting to take to the slaughterhouse. I wouldn't touch her with a 10 foot pole, bro. Equals, I would touch her with every body part I have. This is cope. Look at this. This is all cope. Donovan, once you wake up from your medically induced coma from the Ligma variant of COVID, tell me this is cope. Please just tell me it's cope. If Donovan Sharp sends me a message, and tells me that this post was cope, I will never make another video roasting you or your ugly-ass, fat-ass wife again, bro. I promise. He says, in my personal favorite, the two paragraphs of concern trolling under the guise of envy. Okay. Well, this is what's disappointing, Donovan. You don't understand what the word guys means. Guys means what you want to project to people to know. For example, Donovan Sharp is putting these pictures out, heavily edited, heavily lit in the right areas to put out the guys he is dating a hot woman. A hot woman. That's what you want us to think. The guys is the lie you were trying to convince us of. 
it's not the truth. He says, the two paragraphs are concern trolling under the guise of envy. Bro, you don't know what guise means. So, you know, take your ma superior genetics and put it all the way up your external anal sphincter. Maybe ask your nurses when they're putting the next catheter in, bro, to teach you what the word guys means. It's all right. He says, okay, guys, let's get creative here. How would you hide your thirst on this one? Yeah, it's like saying, on a chronic, how would you hide your green skin? What do you mean? I don't need to hide it. I'm not thirsty. Or maybe it's like, bro, how would you hide the fact that you get boners when you go to the retirement home? When you hug your mom, people will be like, what the hell? I don't need to hide. That doesn't exist. I don't need to hide it. Like my thirst for this overweight female. There is no thirst. I don't need to hide it. I'm not interested in 45 year old overweight smashed up used up thoughts with a yogurt pussy. I'm not interested. Look at this. I look somewhat attractive when I'm sitting laying down. Yeah, tell her to jump up and down. Tell her. <laughs> you know, when Under Chronic was an undergrad, he would smash a lot of sorority chicks. You know what they would do? They would take the five fattest chicks and their sorority and make them sit on the drying machine while it was running. And they would circle all the parts of them that jiggle too much. That's a brutal assessment of your body. I would bet Donna or Devin, I think her name's Devin. <laughs> Imagine dating a white chick with a dude's name. That's how you know she's used up. Imagine dating some chick who got circled all over. Now let's go back to the cover thing. At this point, Donovan Sharp's YouTube channel was taken over by Devin, his wife. And she says, caption this, LOL. Of course, as soon as, his, as soon as Donovan Sharp gets put in the COVID unit, as soon as he becomes unconscious, he can't run his channel, his wife posts cringe shit like this. But this is what I would caption this, Donovan. My face when you keep on posting your ugly wife on YouTube. Now let's read the update. Please keep Donovan and Devin in your thoughts during this difficult time. Says uh, Heather E. Paulson, Patreon manager and live stream admin, whatever. Of course, of course, Donovan has not only Devin, multiple females working his channel. It kind of makes sense that a dude running off of estrogen has other individuals running off of estrogen running his channel. They all connect on a deeper emotional level than I could ever understand. They say, as most of you have suspected, Donovan has tested positive for COVID-19 Delta variant. He's been transferred to a private hospital at undisclosed location at the time at the tri-state area that specializes in Delta variant treatment and recovery. They have a great track record of helping Delta variant patients to fully recover, so he's in good hands. You know, I would never be in the same hands he's usually in because I don't let 30, 40, 50 year old women touch my schlong. Continuing, Donovan has instructed me to let you all know this medical facility will use every avenue impossible to aid in his recovery. Donovan has yet to test positive herself, or Devin has just tested positive herself, but living under the same roof automatically puts her and those around her at risk, so she is being quarantined with him. Good. I need to quarantine Devin from my eyes because I'm about to go blind looking at that beluga whale. In the meanwhile, I'll be taking over Patreon, YouTube, Instagram responsibilities while they are away. So if you have any questions or concerns, send me an email at heather at donovansharp.com. Okay. Doesn't that just show you that he's not about men? He only hires females. Heather at donovansharp.com. Can you imagine? Make it undeadchronic.com. I would call it warband.com. Whatever. I guess narcissists got to keep their name and everything. Continuing, I am in constant contact with Devin and she's giving me updates every few hours. I'll keep everyone updated as she relays information about Donovan's condition. Please send Donovan and Devin your thoughts in this difficult time. Heather E. Paulson, Patreon Manager and Live Stream Administrator. What a great title that is. I am the Patreon Manager and Live Stream Manager of Donna Cook Sharp. Congratulations, you're worth nothing. And the last update. Uh, a day ago. Please keep them in your thoughts. Update on Donovan's condition. According to Devin, Donovan has had a really rough night last night. 
Oh, what, he didn't get to release his splooge in a woman who weighs 200 pounds? How unfortunate. His condition has been downgraded from serious to critical. His vital signs were up and down throughout the day yesterday, but fatigue and attrition took its toll overnight. He can still t smell and taste normally. Good. He can probably still taste the nasty yeast infection on his girl's puniti, at least before Delta takes him to sweet embrace of loneliness of the afterlife. He'll be able to, you know, taste the yeast yogurt infection puniti that his girl has. Because, you know, here's the thing. Chronic, why are you so mean? Why are you joking about this? This dude, Donovan Sharp, spends all day bragging about his overweight, white, yogurt puniti having female. Wouldn't he want to leave this world with the last thing on his lips being her nasty labia? Probably looks like a roast beef sandwich from Arby's. Disgusting. Continuing, he's not. Uh, he can still smell and taste normally, but his appetite has diminished, so he's not eating much. Are you telling me that the Delta variant is finally going to make this dude lose some weight? He should be thanking his lucky stars. She also wants everybody to know that she will not under any circumstances let them put him on a ventilator, and Donovan wants to let everyone know that he will make sure he is out in time for the big boxing match on Saturday. Okay, whatever. So, Devin, his wife, who has a degree in zincology, that is swallowing zinc loads from Tyrone and Chad, will make sure that the physicians at the Delta-specific variant hospital will not be able to uh, exercise their control of the situation when it comes to ventilators. Okay, cool. Whatever. What, do you want me to roast that? If I said that the physicians should have control... They'll be like, oh, no, 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 you can't put him on the vent. If I say, you know what? Devin probably knows a lot more about medicine than trained doctors. I'll just say that. <laughs> Devin, <laughs> the two memes she read on the internet, she knows more about medicine and COVID recovery and treatments than the doctors at the COVID special hospital. Congratulations. Either way, it looks like he's in for the long next few days, so please keep both of them in your thoughts. I will keep everybody updated, says Heather E. Paulson. Well, Heather, thank you so much for providing me entertainment. And here's what I got to say to Donovan. If you listen to my roasts where I made fun of you for being a fat, adipose, lard, boulder, a accumulation of excess calories, maybe you would have lost the weight. Because what's the most dangerous thing for a COVID patient? Being fat. So keep on pumping that steroid juice, bro. I hope you survive. So you can watch this video and cringe at how just, at just how funny your entire life is. Like, bro, <laughs> seeing me, cucking made easy. Oh, no, I got COVID. I'm going to hand over my channel to a bunch of fat women. <laughs> if you enjoy this kind of content, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic. It's been Under Chronic, guys. Take it easy. Under Chronic here. On a wall with my boys. Cold slippers. Glass of liquor. I done stumbled on a green skinned killer. His name is Ribby. Getting jiggy. Hit that PayPal and make us get busy. I'm feeling tipsy. Too much whiskey? I'm cold copping cuts all the way to Dixie. On my chronic game. Ola Puniti. Time to roll another joint. Maybe two more. Fuck around and fuck up the world tour. <laughs> Sponsor these beats at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now back to this blazing chick who wants to sit on it. 